Hello everyone and welcome back to another video review. Today I'm taking a look at LEGO Ninjago set number 71718, Wu's Battle Dragon from Season 13, Master of the Mountain. But before we take a look at the set, let's take a look at the box. This super cool looking new style Ninjago box. I have not actually picked up one of these uh, Ninjago sets in this style since you know they did the, the format change of the TV show and the, and the style change with the boxes. The bo the, these new boxes are very modern. I really like the design of these new boxes. I've gotten like little spinner sets, but I have not actually gotten one of these boxes. So I think, so I like having, uh, I like the box that's come with this. And then if you open the flap over here, then you get coal down here at the bottom. So as you can see, it says Ninjago along the side. Obviously this is a product from the Lego company. Here is Wu's Battle Dragon on the front, you know, all the things the set does here are the minifigures that come with, you know, uh, it kind of looks like Mustafar in the background with some crystals. Of course, this is for ages 7 up, but that's just a suggestion. They have to put that on there. 71718 Wu's Battle Dragon. It's 321 pieces and it's a building toy in several different languages. When we turn it on the back, we see that there's just a little bit more of what this set can do. Um, you can, of course, go to lego.com slash ninjago with your parents' permission. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the box. So, here we have Wu's Battle Dragon. Or, for those of us that have seen the entire season, we know that this is Chumpy, a Shintaran something or other dragon. I can't remember exactly what Wu called him, but, you know, the, this dragon has a actual specific name. So, yeah, so, uh, here's... So I mean, I mean, let's just get right into him. Here is here is Chumpy, the big old battle dragon. It's he's he's very very well built. I love I love the build on Chumpy here. This is this is so good. The head is really good. I, I'm kind of in the I'm kind of in the minority on this. A lot of people don't like the you know if you think back to the original run of Ninjago back in 2011 2012. Um, you know, those dragons had just big old plastic piece heads. And that, and, you know, those were the, and those were the heads. You know, they were just kind of in one piece that kind of connected to the, to the body be, via Bionicle Thornax launchers. A lot of people don't like those. Uh, and it seems like the majority of people don't like those because, you know, they are just kind of this one big solid piece. I actually really like those. I actually really like those a lot and I prefer them to the brick built ones because, you know, they actually look like, Dragon heads, you know, some of these other dragon heads that I've seen with some of these Ninjago dragons just don't look good to me. Chompy's an exception. I think Chompy here looks looks pretty good. I mean, that looks like a dragon head. Of course, it's not perfect because you can still kind of see, you know, when you look at it from the top angle, you can still see the blue of that brick, and that's one of the problems I have with these brick-built heads. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is what this one looks good, yes, but. I think I yeah, and for for this set, I think it definitely makes sense for it to be a twenty dollar, or for it to be a uh, you know brick built head since this is just a twenty dollar set, and I'll get into that in a minute. But um, you know, with some of the larger dragons, I, I you know I I don't like the look of them that much because the heads just look kind of like this big mess, and uh, I think they'd be better if they had the more solid piece. But obviously, like I said, I'm in the minority on that, and so for what this thing is, this is a really well built well-built head. So Chompy here has lots of nice articulation just all over his body, courtesy of the Mixel joints. So you can have him do a, uh, oops, and this is another reason why I don't like the brick-built heads, because look, I just snapped off part of his, uh, part of his face. But Chompy can do all sorts of things. He can look all over the place, look up, look down, like that. Let's come around to his tail here. His tail is just magnificent. I mean, look at all of these different joints. It can go in all sorts of directions here. I mean, this is just super cool. Of course, now I'm getting it all. Eh, my OCD. <laughs> it's I'm getting it. It's all. It's getting crooked. It's freaking me out. So. Yeah, his, his tail you know, his tail adds a lot to this because it really adds to the length of the dragon when you hold him hold him out like this you can see how long just how long he really is it's a it's a really nice build Oop. and then he's got his feet and his legs here you can kind of position these 
however you want. I have I have a little problem with the back legs. The back legs are um, just a little too loose for my liking, which is due to the fact that they're on these. Uh, they're connected with these blue Technic pins, so they're in a in one of those Technic compatible uh, bricks. So it, they're just a little loose for my liking, so they kind of tend to slip around a little bit. So when you're trying to get Chumpy into a standing position, it could be a little difficult. You have to get it just right, or you know, you have to position these back legs just right, or else they'll kind of slouch forward a little bit. But you know, if you kind of work with it a little bit, you can get him positioned and standing well. And of course, you know, this does allow you to the the way these work it does allow you to do some different things. For instance, one thing that I like to do because Chumpy kind of displayed some puppy dog characteristics is kind of have him completely down like this. And look at that, he's just a little puppy dog dragon. He's just a little puppy dog dragon ready to play fetch and probably roast some people and I have a fire. That's just so adorable. I love that. This is a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can you can get some really cool poses out of Chompy here, even even though the back legs are a little are a, a little um, slick. But yeah, so that that's so that's really cool. Of course, Chompy has wings because you know he is a dragon, so the wings are connected. If we can see here, they're connected via one of these small little brick ratchet joints and a regular and a regular joint piece there. So. That way, you do have the incremental wing movements, and it keeps it, and it helps keep it in place. So this would maybe be my one complaint with the set, and it's not really the fault of the set. I mean, with you know, like I said, with, with the exception of the back legs, but this is uh, this is one of those your mileage will vary things. Um, is these plastic wings? I love the look of these plastic wings. These are really cool. I, I think that it really helps the look of this, and I think I like this a lot better than if it, than if the wings had been completely brick built. But um, mine kind of were lodged in the box weird. You know, it it was the hold on. Let me just grab the box here. I'll show it off. This flap here. You know, this, this flap here on the box. You know, the the bags are put in th in through here, and then that's closed up, and then that's closed up, and that's how the box is sealed. Um, my, my, the thing, the plastic little things that these wings were on was sticking out of, was sticking out of the box and was partially outside here and then taped, and then, and then, you know, taped down like that. So, so, so that's why my wings here, you know, as you can see, they're kind of, they kind of like to rise up a little bit and then you have to, they're a little more fiddly to get into position, but that's not necessarily the fault of the set. That's the fault of the manufacturer. If they had been placed in there correctly, I'm sure it wouldn't, that wouldn't be a problem I'd be facing. So that's kind of a, your mileage will vary thing. I hope I just hope that, you know, that's not something that uh, happens to your copies. So I don't know, that may, that for all I know, that could be a widespread issue with this set, but um, it's not really that big a deal. It's just kind of an unfortunate thing. It doesn't, affect things that much you know it's just like you know it's a little gappy right there but it's not a huge deal so yeah that's that's kind of chompy in a nutshell uh well i will go ahead and take woo off here and put chompy off to the side so here we have as the box calls him hero woo so this is a a new design for woo the first new design we've had in a year i want to say because we had the newer design for Wu that came in the, uh, what was it? Was it the Land Bounty with the uh, Secrets of the Forbidden Spinjitsu Wave? I think so, yeah. So so this is our our new Wu for this season. He looks really good. He's got some battle armor on over his robes. He's kind of upgraded his regular staff to be more of a bow staff, I think. So no double-sided face because it's Wu and he's got the beard and he wears the hat so it'd be hard to hide a double-sided face. But he does have nice printing on the back. He's got his little ponytail there, which is really cool. And then I think that I'm pretty sure this is the exact same Wu head that came with the uh, Season 11 Wu. So he does have a little bit of extra beard printed on there 
which is a change up from past iterations of the character. So yeah, I really, I really dig this, uh, this Wu, this Wu design. I really think this is cool. I like it a lot. So yeah. And then here we have Gleck the Gleckle or Geckle. We were, yeah, Geckle. Gleck the Geckle. So this is an interesting thing about this wave in general, not just this set, is that, uh, the uh, the geckles and the months, you know, the two. This is spoilers for the show, by the way. Um, but the two, the two species that kind of live in the mines of of Shintaro, uh, you know, in the mountain itself. On the boxes, they're all portrayed as hostiles, you know, as your conflict in a box, people to fight, and you can see that here on the box. You know, he's shooting rocks up at Chompy. But um, in the show, they're not hostile to the ninja, so it's interesting that the boxes display them as such. And so um, Gleck here does have a double-sided face. You know, he's got one here that's a little more sinister, and then he's got one that's a little more. I guess you could call this confused, maybe or scared. I, yeah, scared is probably the better option there. But yeah, so kind of kind of interesting that the that the boxes and the show do not line up with the kind of premise because it looks like these guys are hostile to the to the ninja, but you know as we know in canon they are not. So it's interesting that this conflict in a box kind of falls apart if you've seen the show. So he does have this little stud shooter crossbow here, from, you know that's taken from Lego Star Wars Chewbacca's bowcaster, and then you get these rocks to load in and throw, which I guess is maybe a reference to the Gecko parliamentary system where they throw rocks at whoever they're agreeing with in the moment. Eh, I don't know. So, might be a bit of a stretch, but hey, there you go. So that's it for the minifigures. And then our last little thing to look at here is this, which is a holder for one of Gilly's swords. And if you've seen this show, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> So yeah, this is one of the MacGuffins of the wave of the season, and uh, it's it's cool to get one of them in it here in this set. Yeah, it it rests very well in this little holder thing. I really I really like this. That's really cool. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the set. I've kind of talked about everything here. Uh, let's get Chompy into a little see it and see. This is what I mean. You know, I put him down and his his legs just kind of slipped like that. But let's get Chompy into a better standing position there we are so yeah um so as i alluded to earlier uh this set is only twenty dollars which i think is crazy uh i mean it has 321 pieces so i you know if this set had been thirty dollars i don't think i would have batted an eyelash you know this you know, you know, it's, it's got a good, it's got, it would have a good piece count. You know, it, you know, you look at the price per part ratio, it would, it would fit $30 price point. I think the size of the dragon more than enough makes this a $30 set, but it's not 30 bucks. It's only 20. This is a $20 Lego set. And that, that, that's just, that's just crazy. This has got to be on record, one of the best $20 Lego sets Lego has ever released, which is part of the reason why I picked it up, because then I, because <laughs> I was kind of, I was kind of eyeing it already. It's like, I do like the build of that dragon, and I haven't really been too big a fan of some of the build of the dragons in the past, you know, as I kind of alluded to earlier. But it's like, I don't know, maybe, man, maybe this would be one that I, that I'll pick up. I mean, 30 bucks, I don't know, maybe I'll wait for it to go on sale or something. But then I saw it was $20, I'm like, okay, no, let's, let's get this thing, let's, let's pick it up. You know, it comes with this new woo, you know, and, you know, the build for Chompy looks good. So yeah, I went ahead and I picked it up and I am not disappointed. This set is fantastic. This is a high recommend set. Uh, if, if you, honestly, if you want to get a set from this, from this season and, uh, and maybe, you know, you're on a budget or, uh, yeah, you know, if you're on if you're on a budget, or you know, you're just trying to maybe decide between some big sets, or you know, you're or you're waiting to get the whole wave for Christmas or something, and but you, you know you want one now. And it's like ooh, but it looks so cool. I you know this that I would prioritize this set over any others. It's not the biggest set. It's not even the biggest dragon set to come in this in this wave because you have Griefbringer as a set as well, Skull Sorcerer's Dragon. 
you know, that's a set as well. But you know, it's it's you know, it's like eighty bucks or something like that. It's 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 expensive. I mean, the price per part ratio is still great. But you know, it's it's more it's more of an expensive set. This is twenty bucks. You get a great dragon build here for only twenty dollars. I mean, this is I mean, honestly, this set is a steal. This is such a steal. I am super happy I picked this up. This is a fantastic set. I would highly highly recommend it. So. Yeah, that will be it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and I guess that's really all you can do anymore because you can't comment because this video is made for kids because I'm talking about a children's toy. So, yeah, um, remember to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those links are in the description below. You could probably contact me there and leave comments you know, there if you want to interact with me there. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it. So, thank you for watching. Goodbye.